Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my empties for November. So I don't have too many items this month, but I'm just gonna jump in and show you the items I do have. So the first item is kind of two in one. Uh, it's the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Body Lotion. So this one is all used up and it took me forever. This is a really, really thick lotion. And why these are two in one is because I transferred this one into this tub right here. Uh, because the cream was so thick and it was impossible to get out of this one um, every time I used it. So I kind of used pushed through it and got as much as I could out of this one and put it in this one, but it's all finished now, so this will go into the rubbish. Let's just breeze through the really boring stuff. I have a deodorant, this is from Dove, and it's the Invisible uh, Clean Touch deodorant. I like this stuff, it's seasoned. It's not my favorite, but yeah, it's a deodorant, so you know. Then I actually have two nail polish removers. I have these two. This one is from Gripen, which is a Swedish brand. This is just a regular nail polish remover. It's acetone free. Um, and yeah, I really like this stuff. This is kind of what I go for when I remove my nail polish. It is good. I don't really have a preference, but this one works really good. And this brand is pretty affordable here in Sweden. Uh, so I finished this one up and that's why I went on to use this one. However, this one is kind of one of those where you dip your finger into them. So it has like a little holder and you dip your finger into this one. I These ones are really hard to know when they're done because they don't really dry out. But the issue for me was when I went to use this after I finished this one was that it just turned my fingers really really red because I've used this before with so many nail polishes that the color does no longer kind of break down, it kind of just stays in the formula. So it does remove my nail polish, but it just leaves my fingers really stained. Uh, so that's kind of why I decided to call this one quits. Uh, so that is the second nail polish remover that is done for this month. So while we're on nails, let's you go through the two other things that I have that are nail polish related. And uh, let's start with this one, which is a nail polish thinner from Born Pretty. This one I like, it works really well. It's the first nail polish thing that I've ever tried, so I can't really compare it to other ones, but it is the second bottle I go through. Um, these ones you don't need that much of, but this kind of thing has been a lifesaver for me when I've done my product polish. Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely repurchase something similar. Not sure if I will repurchase this one though, because you have to buy this online, and the customs here in Sweden has gotten way kind of harsher so I think this will be really expensive to pick up for me at the moment so I will try to find a nail polish thinner that I can buy from either Sweden or a EU site. And then the last nail polish related item I have is a nail polish and this one is from Aunt. And this one is their ready for takeoff peel off base coat I think it's called. It's a peel off base coat and this is amazing. I have already ordered another two of this. Um, I love this stuff. I actually think this is the one thing that has made me want to do my nails more often because it's so easy just to peel your nail polish off and just redo them quickly instead of using a nail polish remover like this one. Also this one has made me want to use glitters because you don't have to fuff around with kind of removing it with a regular nail polish remover because you know how hard that is. This just kind of peels off really easily. Of course this isn't foolproof. It can kind of snap off if you're not careful with your nails, so that is kind of the downside to it. I usually carry this around with me when I am wearing um, this as a base, base coat because if I'm at work, for example, and my nail polish completely like just pops off, I can just put a tiny, tiny bit of this underneath and put the kind of peeled off nail uh, back on again. And I feel like that kind of lasts throughout the day, um, and then I have to redo them later. So. I mean, if you are really hands-on, uh, I don't think this would be for you, but I really love this stuff and I, like I said, have already purchased this. So next two items are two items of body care and I have this one, which is the uh, L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. I am in love with this stuff. I love it. The scent of this is amazing. I just adore this. Uh, this actually lasted me for quite a while um, and I will definitely repurchase this in the future but as you know I am kind of working through some other things uh, body care wise so I won't repurchase this at the moment but it's definitely something that I will repurchase once I go through all of my deluxe size bottles of shower gel. Speaking of deluxe size samples I have a kind of body oil and uh, this one is from Munu Spa and this one is the warming ginger massage and body oil. Uh, I used this up over the last month and initially when I first smelled this, 
I thought it smelled really really nice but after using it I oh, can't stand the smell anymore I don't know it's just so overpowering and it's it smells really gingery and I don't mind gingery things that much but it's I just don't really like the scent I would definitely not repurchase this the scent was just too overwhelming and um, it was quite moisturizing and nice but yeah, the scent is just too much for me and I will not repurchase this. So we're getting down to the last items. I have two sample masks before we move into makeup. Uh, these ones are... Let's start with this one. This one is the Sephora Instant Moisture Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. I used this w once um, and I actually think this broke me out quite bad. So I actually just poured out the last bit because I didn't want to try my luck. Um, Otherwise, I don't really feel like this did much at all. Um, it's kind of those like jelly masks. Um, and yeah, I just don't really see any benefits to this mask. So I would not repurchase this. Uh, but if you like those kind of masks, I would guess that you could try it. But like I said, it may have broken me out. So I won't gamble with that. And then the second mask is this one right here, which is actually a pore strip, so I don't know, really know if you consider that a mask. This one was a charcoal nose cleansing strip from Luke. Um, I got this in a kind of order when I ordered some Korean skincare, and yeah, I quite like this. Um, I don't really feel like it pulled out too much gunk when I used this, um, and that may be because I am currently using a lot of chemical exfoliants, both BHAs and AHAs, so... That may kind of help clearing up my skin overall, um, using one of these kind of just pull out a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, I just don't really buy these kind of stuff anymore. I think everyone used to use these back in the days when you were younger, but yeah, I just don't use these anymore. And I much prefer using chemical exfoliants, so I will not repurchase. However, if you are someone who likes uh, pore strips, this one is quite good. So yeah, I would recommend it if you like these type of products, but it's not for me. And then the last two items I have are both for my project pan. Uh, the first one I have is the, the Pore Professional Agency Zero Shine Powder from Benefit. I talked about both of these products in my project pan, so you can check that out if you want to know more about them. But yeah, this one is nice, but I don't feel like it did much more than a regular loose powder. And this one did darken my concealer underneath my eyes, so I would not repurchase this. Uh, so yeah, and I also have so many loose powders that I don't really need to repurchase anything uh, in the near future anyway. And then saving the best for last, I have my blush from my product pan. This one is from the body shop and it's in the shade Nutmeg. And it is completely empty, obviously, because it's in this video. But yeah, I am so happy that I used this up finally. It took me the whole year, basically. And it already had quite a big dip in it when I put it in the project. But it is completely done, as you can see, which is really, really exciting. But that, guys, was all for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. This was quite a fast, empty video. But if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I would love to have you in the family. And otherwise, I hope you're having the best of days. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.